Hey Pokey fans, Alex here, and in the last episode we caught a new team member. Yay, good old Batman. We caught him out of necessity because we almost got our butt whooped by our rival, and seeing as it is low on HP, our first job is to heal. Um, but we're going to be interrupted by this boy who's going to uh, assertively show us around the town, just like Dawn did in Jubilee. Yeah, there is someone there. I don't necessarily care about Tyson right now. I care about the Pokemon Center. And basically the goals for this episode are to train Zubat, because as I mentioned in the last episode, Zubat is not a good Pokemon. Objectively, it's terrible. The moves that it learns barely scrapes the surface. Uh, high chance of miss, missing moves, like low accuracy moves. Um, yeah, so we're going to go back to Jubilee, go north, battle some of the trainers. I'm probably going to cut out most of it. Um, well, maybe not most of it, but I'm going to cut out enough to make it somewhat enjoyable. And then if we have time, we'll go out and uh, take the gym leader. Yep. And I forgot to <laughs> do the one thing that I should have done, which is put Zubat in front. So the first Pokemon in the upper left-hand corner right here, uh, that's the one that you're going to send out first as far as battling goes, but okay, fine. We'll just take out this Bidoof really quickly. I actually forgot to save my game, so I had to go back and do everything that I did in the last episode off-screen. I think I did it mostly as I did it last episode, so um, I believe the Zubat was level 5. There are some aspects of Pokemon that do differ from random encounter to random encounter, like natures and IVs, but this isn't the time to discuss those. Okay, don't care how I got that critical hit, but this battle was kind of taking way too long, so. Thank you, Princess Diana. All right. Okay, a Psyduck. That's interesting. Yeah, you do see Psyducks in a lot of caves, um, probably to get away from all the noise of the environment because it has a chronic headache. Okay, so a Psyduck is a water type, which is good for us because Absorb is grass, and grass is super effective against water. Okay, so that sound effect lets you know that it does twice as much, much damage. And then it uses Water Sport, which is the most useless move. It weakens the power of Fire-type moves, but if you're using Fire-type moves against a Psyduck, we have a whole nother issue. But 57 experience, not bad. And it learned Razor Leaf, which is a very, very powerful uh, attack. Okay, so now... I'm going to put Zubat in front before I forget. Let's just take a look at its moves. It's Poison Flying, which already has a lot of weaknesses, but we can deal with much of those. But it knows two moves. Leech Life, which is kind of like Absorb. Actually, it's exactly like Absorb, but for bugs. And a lot of Pokemon are going to resist bugs. And then Supersonic, which, as you can take a look from the accuracy, has like almost half accuracy and it possibly confuses the target. So let's just get into one battle and I'm gonna show you how difficult it is to battle with Zubat. Okay, so this lady apparently already got the gym badge. I'm gonna judge her Pokemon now. Okay, that explains it. So the gym leader we're gonna face is a rock type gym leader, so water is super effective against rocks. Okay, so it already did six damage. Okay, so look at how much damage that did. Now, obviously, I'm not in the business of wasting anyone's time. So, a good strategy is to switch out with another Pokemon, and then you essentially have the experience that you would have got, and it's distributed um, among Zubat and Turtwig. Okay, let's try out Razor Leaf. Oh, baby. Super effective and <laughs> one shots it essentially. So that is going to be the strategy. 
basically for a long time until Zubat learns a good move. So like I said, I'm probably going to cut out most of these battles because again, I don't think the purpose of a playthrough or a let's play is to show you every single grueling detail, especially since we already kind of did that in the first couple of episodes. So if I encounter a Pokemon or whatever, I'll cut it out. I thought about doing a training montage as well, but it's not the time. And I'm showing this battle probably because there's a Shinx. And as I mentioned earlier, you can encounter Shinx. If you want a decent electric type, here it is for you. I'm not going to be so stereotypical or predictable, I guess. So um, I'm actually not going to add a Shinx to my team. But if you want a good electric type, doesn't have any other types, which is good and bad. Um, Shinx is pretty strong. Alright. Oh, I forgot I didn't battle this boy. Okay, another new Pokemon that we haven't seen before. Machop. Uh, a fighting type. Very, very strong attack. Very, very low defense. So it would be fortuitous to switch out. Even though fighting isn't very effective against Zubat, fighting doesn't do much against flying types, but this battle would take forever with Zubat, so I'm not even going to try. It's going to be a while before Zubat's able to take on a Pokemon by itself. Yeah, low kick packs a punch. Well, I guess it packs a kick. Machop is good. The only problem with Machop is if you want it in its final evolved form, you have to have another person to trade it. So just keep that in mind. Learn some awesome moves when you evolve it, though. All right, we already saw Shinx. Uh, really, the first step... As I was saying, we already saw Shinx, so there's no point in seeing one again. Okay, what do you have? Ooh, new Pokemon. Okay, Cricketot. Um, believe Bug and Grass... Not very good. It evolves into Krikatoon. Bugs are kind of a mixed bag in Pokemon games because they evolve very, very quickly, which means they change form into something very, very strong. Um, so they evolve early, although when your other Pokemon catch up, they will wipe the floor with any bug types. So keep that in mind. Okay, now it is using Bide, which is a very, very uh, powerful move. It essentially doesn't attack for a few turns and then unleashes all of its uh, fury against you. So I'm actually, I'm going to withdraw. Oops. I think I actually have to attack it a little bit and then it unleashes all that. But yeah, Bide packs a pretty punch. Okay, I didn't need that critical hit, but thank you anyway. And no new move at level 7. Oh, Zubat versus Zubat. That would be fun, right? No, it wouldn't. It would be the worst experience of your life. Almost as bad as, like, if two Shuckles were to go against each other, if you're familiar with that Pokemon. Well, I'm one level above it, so I have an advantage, right? No, you really don't. So I just started doing stuff for my grad classes today, so I'm taking a little break. Um, it's going to be a lot of uh, terms and definitions. A lot of memorization for me, which is fine. Uh, 
Um, I am taking a math class pretty shortly. I think it starts sometime in June. I'm looking forward to that. Whereas I'm planning where to travel. If anyone has any suggestions, let me know, but hopefully somewhere domestic. I'm thinking either Austin, Texas, or maybe Seattle. Oh, a Pokeball containing a Pokeball. All right, let's head north, battle those trainers, and then head back to Orgberg. A paralysis, okay, I guess it's not a paralysis heal. It's a perilous heal. Perilous heal. Heals paralysis, which is a status condition we haven't encountered. And what kind of Pokemon do you have, lady? Or I guess girl. I think she's a lass. So youngster Tyler is going to have that. If you've never played a Pokemon game in your entire lives, Magikarp is a fish, and it has no useful moves until level 15 in which it learns the only attack move that it can learn, Tackle. I think, I guess Flail is technically an attack move, but in fact, it is so useless that my Zubat could actually take it out in its first battle. Although it would probably take a long time. Oh my god. Yeah, we're not doing that. But Splash is the only move that it can learn until level 15, which does nothing. It is a worthless move. Um, it is just designed to show you that Magikarp is worthless, so you almost might wonder, like, why would they even put that in the game? Well, it evolves into something that almost makes up for. Actually, that's kind of an opinion. Some people think it more than makes up for its weak form. Gyarados. I'm sorry, I don't mean to level up my uh, Turtwig this much. I know I'm over-leveling it, but I don't know what else to do. Like, Zubat cannot take on uh, opponents by itself. All right, I think we have one more battle. May I please trouble you for a battle? Well, since you asked so nicely. Okay, Badu. I'm showing a lot of these battles because these are new Pokemon. Okay. Budu is Grass and Poison, which means it has so many weaknesses. Um, and that's essentially all I have to say. It has two evolved forms. Um, its final evolution is pretty good. It has some fantastic moves, but the type, the, the type weakness just makes it not a great fit for most teams. I can see ways of incorporating it into your team. Uh, if you utilize the poison, there are really good moves you can teach it. So I'm not going to judge anyone that wants to put that on their team. And you can evolve it very quickly. All you need is a, well, you need to level it up first, evolve it once, and then you just have to use a stone. It's pretty cute, too. And it doesn't learn a new move at level 8. Oh, you're so strong. Okay, I'm just going to cut out to the moment that I get back to Orgberg. See you there. All right, so we're back in Orgberg. I actually did uh, allow Zubat to uh, take on a Psyduck all by its own, and it won in like 10 turns, but I'm not going to show that. Um, I guess that boy that escorted us is already back to his location, and we're going to talk to Tyson. Huh? Oh, and see you, Alex. You finally got here? You're slow, like always. But anyway, the gym leader is tough. Like, seriously serious. If the gym leader is this tough, I wonder how he compares to my dad. Huh, I just drifted there. Anyway, the gym leader's gone off to the coal mine. If you want to take on the gym leader, you'd better go off to the mine. And of course, he's not going to move. Now, the mine is going to be full of rock types, and we really don't need that, so probably going to keep swapping out Zubat. First, we're going to get this hidden item over here. It's not hidden, hidden, but a dire hit. Okay, so that is like an X item that increases the chance of getting a critical hit. And a yellow shard is not really useful to us at this time. 
You can see little Machops right here. Told you they pack a punch. They're strong enough to work in the mines. And I love Platinum versus Diamond and Pearl because of this uh, graphic. Like you can see the coal moving. Anyway. Now Tyson said that he had a difficult time with Rourke, and regardless of the starter that you chose, he will say the exact same thing. Um, but I want to make note of it now because Rourke uses Rock-type Pokemon. And all of Tyson's options right now, so he has a Starling and a Chimchar, they are both extremely weak to rock types. So if you want to have an advan advantage against Tyson, it wouldn't hurt to catch a Geodude. I just don't recommend making it a part of your long-term team. Um, but I do think it's funny that he even beat Rourke whatsoever, because I don't believe he could do that with his current team. And that's the struggle of picking Chimchar over Turtwig. Um, because if you do, you're going to have to pick another Pokemon that has more success over Rock types. Because Starling ain't going to cut it. The only way is to, like, over-level, over-level Chimchar so that it evolves into its next form. Okay, so we're going to have more battles. Probably going to cut those out. Or maybe I won't. It just depends on the kind of Pokemon. But we've already seen Geodude, so... And we have an Onyx, which is the other type of Pokemon you can encounter here. Um, honestly, with Onyx, Onyx is decent on its own. Its speed is surprising, um, and its defense is great. Its attack is somewhat decent. Um, I'm not going to make it a part of my team, and honestly, I don't recommend you making it a part of yours, but if you did, I wouldn't judge. Um, it evolves into a Steelix, which I'm telling you because you need an item and another friend to evolve it. Okay, so it used Harden, so we're going to go with Absorb. But it packs a lot of experience. <laughs> I one-shotted it. Okay, to be fair, I am twice its level, but... So if we see a Geodude or an Onyx, I will not show those battles. snuck my Pokemon to work. Well, what about the other people that have Machops right next to them? I guess Machop is the only Pokemon that's allowed. Also, um, Zubat grew to level 9 and learned a new move. Okay, Astonish, which is pretty much equally useless. It's a ghost type, which doesn't even make sense. I guess it's in a cave and it's kind of dark and spooky, but 30 damage. That's it. That's all we're working with. Turtwig, I forgot to share its new move, Razor Leaf. It is a physical attack. Um, even though it's technically hurling something at it, you get to know the physical versus the special attacks just by experience. Um, but it does 55 damage, and it has a high critical hit ratio, which you'll remember critical hits are. Uh, they do twice as much, much damage and ignore status conditions. Okay, who are you? Okay, stand back and watch this. Using the hidden move Rock Smash, a boulder blocking your way. Fallen boulders, boulders need to be smashed so they're out of the way. If you could get the badge from the gym in town, you'd be able to do this too. Of course, you'd have to beat the gym leader first. That'd be me. He just walks away. That's actually pretty cool. Pretty cool character dynamic. Alright, what do you have? All right, so Zubat one-shotted the Machop. I'm kind of surprised. The combination of confusing your opponent, um, which I didn't really explain yet. So I'll probably do that when I get out of this cave. All right, so we're out and we're heading to the gym. Um, what Confusion does, if it lands, is it's a status condition in which your Pokemon might not be able to move. If they aren't able to move on that turn, they actually inflict damage onto their selves. I don't really understand the dynamic of that. Someone who's confused normally doesn't really hurt themselves, but I guess it's possible. They could, like, run into a wall or something. I'm going to try Zubat out. We're going to see. Okay, there's this guy who's, you know, 
creepy stalker type that is just everybody's fan. Howdy, how's it going, champ to be? That's what I said to a really impatient boy earlier, too. The gym leader is a user of rock type Pokemon. Well, listen, rock type Pokemon really hate water, alright? They're also weak to grass type moves. Gee, they sure have weaknesses, but don't think it will be easy. You don't get to be a gym leader without covering for weaknesses. Going after a rock type Pokemon with a fire type Pokemon, <coughs> Tyson, <coughs> won't be easy either. That's all the advice I can give. Thanks for listening. So if you look over here, uh, this statue kind of also lists the uh, trainers that defeated the gym leader. Only one, apparently, out of an entire region of people. So there are ways of getting around these trainers for the most part in gyms. I'm going to go and battle all of them just to see how well Zubat can fare. So let's get started. You avoided the long way around? Let's see why you do that. Youngster Jonathan sends out a Geodude. All right, level 11. Yikes. Okay, deep breath here. Um, we're gonna try Supersonic. Okay, so let me just try to show you how it works. So sometimes they hurt themselves in their confusion. So it's not much, but they don't get to attack you and they inflict damage onto itself in addition to the damage that we're about to inflict with Astonish. Now, Astonish doesn't get that stab bonus, but it has a high chance of making the Pokemon flinch, which basically means, like, they don't do anything that turn. So, flinch, in addition to confusion, means that, there we go, it's not attacking me. It hasn't landed a single attack. And it's still confused. Now it's probably going to snap out of Confusion on this turn. Confusion lasts, I think, anywhere for two, from two to five turns. Ooh. Okay, so it used a defensive move, so instead of a physical attack, I'm going to go with Leech Life, which is a special attack. It does less damage, though. Okay, that was a mistake. All right, well, we're going to go with Supersonic then. And it misses. Remember, 55% accuracy, not very good. Okay, it's really not good. So I guess the idea of Supersonic is to, like, inflict you with um, very high-frequency sounds to, to confuse you. Kind of makes sense. Let's see, how much is this going to do with his heightened defense? Nothing. But we're going to keep doing nothing, I guess, until it does something. Yeah, so that's all Geodude is going to do. It's going to keep raising its defense. I guess thank you for the critical hit. You shorten the battle by like 10 minutes. And we defeated youngster Jonathan, who understands why we decided to kick his butt. All right, just have one more trainer, and I guess we'll defeat the gym leader in the next episode. Only those who want to win can challenge a Pokemon gym. I didn't realize that rhymed until now. I've played this game through a lot of times, and I've never read the text out loud. Well, it's time to confuse- no, I'm kidding. We're not doing that again. No, 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 no. There's a law of diminishing returns if I ever saw one. <laughs> now, Razor Leaf is physical. Geodude has high defense, so it might not be the best idea. But it's also four times weak to grass, so... Onyx! Alright. Here's a good Pokemon. Youngster Darius. Darius is a really cool name. There is a king, I believe he was of Persia, named Darius II.
I'm going to try the Astonish thing. It's not going to work, so I'm probably going to switch out very soon. Yep. Bye, Zubat. <laughs> to be fair, though, Zubat is a poison and flying type, and both poison and flying are not very effective against any of these Pokemon, so at least the moves it does know, while they aren't stab, they are regularly effective. So, there's always a give and a take. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm overleveled, I know that I am. I'm going to try to battle uh, the gym leader with Zubat, but that's going to have to wait until the next episode. Thank you all so much for watching. We did a lot. We uh, grinded Zubat up and taught it a new move. We saw how successful that is. We introduced some battle strategies and defeated all the trainers leading up to Rourke, which we will defeat in the next episode. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.